。大家好，就是啊，我叫王静静。Hello everyone, my name is、uh, Wang Qingxin. I feel so honored to、uh, give you the following presentation from the participants in this new、uh, Metaverse New Era Summit. So 2021 is a special year. So the AR, VR, the Metaverse, blockchain gaming、uh, were very popular in the past year. Sub Game was very lucky. We rode the tailwind, but we. We didn't do this because of this tailwind. We have the planning long time ago, so I've got 25 minutes to share with you what Subgame has done and、uh, what are our views over NFT and blockchain gaming. So, brief industry of myself. I've been in this industry for four years. I've been. Uh, committed to many different blockchain products、uh, um, and also industrial chain. Finally, we、uh, end up in the polka dots. So why this one? Why this public chain?、Um, the blockchain. Is going to mature very soon. What does it mean? So all block and chains are maturing. So every blockchain need to have interaction. Therefore, it requires cross-chain technology. In 2012, a long time ago, many people,、uh, some people mentioned the cross-chain technology and idea. But at the time, you know, blockchain was a new thing. Not so many people are so familiar with this one. And、along with the time and development, many people come up with the crossing idea. Polkadot is a very comprehensive blockchain technology and solution with Harry Chain,、uh, Relay Chain, and Slot combined. It can realize the chain connection and interaction. Subgame is a program based on the polka dot chain, public chain. So, brief introduction of our company was the polka dot infrastructure technology subchain.、Uh, we develop this technology. We are a blockchain engine technology. We provide traditional developers, especially the traditional gaming、uh, companies, with this technology. If they want to develop the blockchain technology, they are usually not familiar. With that, it requires a lot of time and money to get familiar with that. So we establish the module for them to use. As long as they are focusing on their own games. Uh, they can get into the blockchain gaming, so we develop this product based on this concept.、Uh, a brief introduction to the module. Our modules are quite different from the traditional gaming engine. For example, the 2D engine or 3D engine or the rendering engine. Those are related to the design, but we focus more on the back end、um, development. So first of all, you need to have interaction with interaction. You need to coordinate the chain information, or you need to. Uh, design some modules based on the features of blockchain. We we develop these modules for them, and you can see there are different types of、uh, modules. So those things will be developed by us step by step in the future. And next, so how can those developers use our、uh, modules? We have we publish the SGB. So as long as the developer plugs on the SGB on our platform, they can use our platform. They they can use our module, and we also update with the time. So as long as there are any requirements for the modules, we will develop those modules for them. So the developers need to pledge the USG SGB. So they can continue to use our module. Um, the business model for NFT. NFT is not something new. It was brought up around 2016 and 17 by Crypto Kit. So at that time there was the Crypto Crypto Kitties. At that time they you already have had the NFT. So the the technology is relatively mature, but not with a good business model. But this year you've seen so many different business. 
business models related to NFT. I'd like to walk you through some interesting business models. The first one is the uh, club membership. So Board Ape is very clever. You bought the, 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 an NFT of the Board Ape. You can get involved or getting on board of the Yacht Club. It feels like you can uh, get acquainted with some uh, um, celebrities or VIPs, and uh, they also published uh, the special NFT, which can be traded between holders. So it looks like this is a club, yacht club of the rich people, the celebrities. Therefore, it attracts many people to buy in uh, board ape. So the marketing tool is very successful. And they also collaborate with some famous brands and uh, rich people or celebrities. Next, the fractionalized NFTs. So for this part, um, probably you are not familiar with uh, fractionalized uh, NFTs. It uh, creates the liquidity of NFTs. So by pledging NFTs, um, it becomes FT. So those tokens. So why need to? Why you need to do this? Because NFT has a low liquidity. The famous secondary market is called OpenSea. If you go on OpenSea, you can find an NFT commodities. Uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, uh, pricing listed. For example, they only list three or four different. Uh, um, times for the pricing because it has relatively low liquidity. So in the, that's the problem with NFTs. Uh, the good one is the FTs, that's the good tokens. So you can pledge your NFTs, then it can become FTs, then it can boost the liquidity. So it can also motivate the community. So more people uh, or more holders can uh, want to own and hold the NFTs. So if you can cover 1 million tokens, so 1 million people can hold the tokens, right? And together, with other ways of uh, play, you can provide some sort of uh, liquidity on Uniswap or SushiSwap. But this concept is not mature yet. In the future, you will see more people uh, embrace this concept. Another one is the gaming NFTs. I think you're very familiar with this one. Um, this is the Axie Infinity. Uh, this is the P2P battle game. So why is this so popular? Because this blockchain game is a pay-to-earn concept. What pay to earn means you can earn as you pay as you play. Therefore, more people are motivated to play the game. So that trend uh, attracted many people in the Southeast Asian markets like Philippines or um, other countries in Southeast Asian countries. I say I I found that many stores in Philippines can receive the AX coins or AX tokens. So that's beyond our imagination. I think the reason is you need to know that the percentage of players in the world is very high, but the players if you can increase some uh, uh, added value or earning power to the players, those players are likely to stick with these games. And many traditional AAA gaming companies are also getting getting on board of the blockchain technology for uh, gaming. It doesn't mean the blockchain gaming will replace the traditional game. Um, it just enable you with more capabilities. So so the players are more motivated to stay in the game. And the Sandbox is another famous brand. Many people said that uh, that brand is going to integrate with uh, uh, Metaverse. So they turn the land into NFTs. They create a business model. So many brands uh, bought a piece of land, and, and other people will 
be interested in that in becoming its neighbor, so they probably will buy a piece of land next to the brand. So this is, this concept is quite similar to the real estate concept in, in the world, in the real world. So sandbox, maybe people said that sandbox is uh, uh, um, very similar to the preliminary metaverse because it's very similar to the property market in the real world. Uh, next, um, the art generating NFTs, so the art NFTs. So looking at this uh, art pieces, it looks like the uh, graphics created in lab, but every graphic is in unique uh, digital contract. So all the code of the digital contract is uh, formulating formulated into this uh, art. So any people interested in this one? I heard that uh, every piece of this uh, artwork is priced at something around half a million or so. So you can find this is alarming. This is alarmingly high. That's the new incentives to artists. And uh, loot. Probably you've heard loot projects before. This is a very interesting one. And when you enter into the game, you can see this. Uh, when you enter into this one, you will see a list of uh, texts. So back to 20 years ago, 30 years ago, when computer uh, was a new thing, the interface, the GUI interface was not uh, comprehensive. So you bought a notebook today. You've uh, seen some uh, images with low resolution. Because at the time, the GUI technology was not good. But at that time, there are some very interesting games. The images doesn't, didn't look good. But they used the taxes as their tools. Uh, as their uh, fighting tools. So it's like they are, each team are fighting against each other with the text. You can see their weapons in the text, in the form of text. Um, does it, does, is that really valuable? I remember once the uh, loot was sold at almost one million dollars. So NMP, NFT, um, so there are a lot of uh, business models you can explore in this region, in this area. Now I like to talk about the game farm. There are many ways to play game fight. Mint and burn are quite common in blockchain gaming. Um, you can cover mint and burn. And the synthetic game assets. This one is not very mature in the market. This is something emerging in the market. Um, in the traditional financing sector, you can pledge something which will generate some uh, other tokens, but can gaming assets realize this? I think it's very likely because when you put your gaming assets, you can sense, synthesize something you want an asset from that. So with digital contract, you can synthesize your assets, even through the gaming. Um, now I'd like to introduce to you some models so you can get more familiar with this concept. This is the um, overlay collateralized model. You need to, for example, your total value is uh, 10 EDH, but you cannot build over 10 EDH. That's the security of your asset building. In this way, you create the value you create will be affected. So that's the over collateralized model you can have. And lastly, I like to use some time to walk you through the latest uh, uh, progress of our sub-game. We are selling the slot. We have the slot bidding of the sub-game, of the polka dot, because we said the polka, polka dot combined the, um, the relay chain, the slot, 
and the problem chain. And uh, if it's related to the public uh, chain, it requires the slot to combine different uh, pub public chain. In order to guarantee the information feeding, you cannot overload it, so you can only add the information step by step. So the start slot uh, is added to your chain uh, 50 by 50. So it is increased uh, by a certain limit, so you can realize that by slot bidding on the market. For example, someone want to endorse you uh, with uh, like 50 slots um, for the DOT and why we encourage people to sponsor you? Because the community can realize the crowd loan for your behavior. So this is a simple chart for you to understand. So the user will stake in the DOT. We issue the 5G. Um, to them, the uh, S SGB to them, and it's very secure. It's uh, locked in your digital contract. The project will not search your DOT, so that's the security we provided to users. In the past, uh, the users have to submit their DOT, and then finally the project uh, leader disappears, so that can be a problem. So with this slot option, uh, auction, slot option, auction, we will not get your DOT, so that's uh, very friendly to users. And uh, when you get the um, SGB, you can get involved in our ecosystem earlier. Then finally, we will um, get those DOT back to you later. So what can SGB do in the, um, the development progress? You can get involved in our development progress. And verbally, we talked about the module platform. The developers can pledge their SGB and get our modules for for use. So we have some foundation for classification of our modules. And in the future, as the market mature, we will provide a diversified modules for you to use. Next. The developers uh, developed all kinds of uh, games. For sub-game, we start from the blockchain games by providing technology modules to developers. In the future, we want to block, we want to build this blockchain gaming ecosystem. What we want to provide is not just the technology, but also um, other tools. Well, we want to be the accelerator of blockchain games. We want to encourage developers to promote their blockchain games on our platform. So we are also building this uh, crowd loan application platform. So if the developers want to um, improve their ecosystem, they can use our crowd loan platform to raise the money from the community to get involved in the development of their uh, content. So users can get involved earlier, and the creator can grow healthier. Uh, so we will continue to develop more modules for them. And uh, you can see this is the sub-game ecosystem. Um, so the developers, participants, the public chain, are, are all closely connected, so the developers can pledge their SGB to use our module. Participants can use the crowd loan platform to get involved in the developer's development process. We also have the verifier and the nominator in our platform. Verifier is very important. They are verifying the, uh, the transaction information. They can get the SGB as the reward, so the nominator is is nominating the uh, nominees of the verification for the future decision making. Lastly, I'd like to share with you our latest progress. Uh, lately, we've been working with many uh, game companies. Uh, one game is going to be launched very soon. It's called the Seven Planet. The Seven Planet 
它是不单单只是一般的对战游戏，我觉得他们这个游戏的设计概念我觉得好是，呃，就是我们会跟他合作，是觉得他们提出一些，呃，很好玩，是希望让虚幻游戏呢能够长远的发展下去。Develop the blockchain game in the long term. I think that's a very important topic for the blockchain game in the future. In 2018, most of the blockchain game can only survive for three months because at the time they couldn't find confidence in the blockchain game. So after two, three months, they failed because they also have some problems in the economy or the the board, the game is bored. Or many other things. So it's not easy to develop a very good game. Will Subgame want to collaborate with game companies in this direction to promote, to launch some really interesting game? And this game company was thinking a very sound and good economy for the game, which can help the game to survive. So if you want to establish your business, your company, you want to have a good business model, then you can enjoy smooth and sound development. So that's the same thing in the gaming industry. So we actively cooperate with these game companies in this direction. We actively develop those modules and module platforms. So in the future, so the next year, 2022, we want to find the different blockchain game companies to develop the games. It can be multiple forms instead of just one form. And when they get into this block, chain game, those companies are also finding the niche point. How, what's the niche point for them to cut into this industry? That's very crucial for the future development. So that's all from my part. Thank you.